Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am giving you all kind of a little rundown on something that I did and it was a lot of fun. So, you know, why not share it with everybody? But anyway, I went to Sephora and I spent way too much money. Now for me, spending that kind of money is kind of a no-no for the most part because I don't have a source of income with me being a stay-at-home mom. So we only really have one person bringing in a lot of money and that is my boyfriend. So I was like, well, hmm, can't really spend a lot of money all the time. But his birthday was this past weekend. So we decided to go to the boat, which was the casino and do some, you know, gambling. Hmm. They got rid of my favorite machine, which was the rabbit roulette. So I was stuck on the slot machines all night because I was not gonna play actual roulette. like. No, I'm not social enough to do that, so. But anyway, I got four new products um, for the price of $138, so. That was a lot of money for me to spend, but you know, it was worth it. And I was able to, thankfully, since I did win some money at the boat, I was successful. Yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing I got was the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Now, I had heard a lot of things about this palette, you know, it's a little more on the expensive side. That's why I've never really bought it. It's 65 US dollars. So this is obviously not like the box that it comes in because I already opened it, but you know, who cares? Um, this is what the palette itself looks like. And then you open it up and please don't look at my background. Um, and you have this, like that is the palette itself. Um, it's a really nice palette. The color scheme seems to fit the name Desert Dusk. However, the one thing I have a problem with in this palette is this shade right here. This is damn glitter. It's called Cosmo. It is like a loose gritty glitter, so it's not like packed in there. So, you know, it will get everywhere. Just a fair warning to anyone who buys this palette. But... The rest is beautiful. Like I used it today to create a look. I haven't posted it yet on my Instagram, but I will eventually. I might not actually, I'm not sure if I actually like it, but um, I used this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade, and mwah, this purple shade. It is amethyst. That is my all time favorite shade in this entire palette. Like I'm in love with it. Um. But yeah, I really haven't played around with it too much, but all I can say is that it is worth the $65. I'm just not sure about this whole glitter thing going on. Like, what was she thinking when she put that in there? Like, it makes the palette messy, and I hate that. Like, I hate getting messy with glitter because glitter is so messy. That's why I hardly ever use it. Also with this, like, there are chrome toppers, I guess that's what they're called. This is the swatches. This one right here is probably my favorite. It's very vibrant, very pigmented. They're very nice. So mama recommends. So the next thing I got was the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter Palette. This retails for, I think it's like 30 something dollars. It was on sale for $21.50. So, you know, your girl had to get it. It comes like this. It is literally the most beautiful, I guess. It's not, okay, it's not the most beautiful highlighter palette because I have like several highlighters, but this is definitely one of them. I would say by the looks of it, it looks like a dupe for the Huda Beauty highlighters, but I've never tried those. So, you know, I can't say for sure. They're very pigmented though, like, but they're also really glittery. Like, I don't know if you can tell, my camera quality is probably really crappy, but my fingers, on the other hand, can definitely uh, vouch for that. Like, definitely, you know, make an effort to maybe pick this up. I don't know if that's what you're into. They are glittery. Like, I will tell you right now, they are glittery highlighters. Like, you can't even tell, but all three of them packed on there. But now, you know, I just got highlighter on my fingers and my daughter is sleeping in her room. So I almost woke her up earlier just trying to get this video made. So yeah. I definitely would say that's a good deal. So the next product I got was another Kat Von D product. It is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita 2. 
this is a beautiful like chestnutty color um, I'm trying to I'm gonna be Jeffree Star here in a woo it's a very nice I'm so bad at this but it's like a really nice chestnutty how does he do this anyway it's a very nice chestnutty shade I wore it today it's definitely very beautiful I do however say you know get a lip liner when you're wearing this because it'll like feather on the corners and like that's why I hardly ever wear these but this it was retailing for about $20 so you know they're worth it there's a lot of product in here you know you're not just getting a tiny little tube like some brands will want to charge you like 30 bucks for a tiny little lipstick but this is a good deal and I highly recommend it, it is definitely going to be worn often in my videos but it's like really late at night so I'm obviously not putting on makeup like mama needs a break <laughs> The last and final product that I bought today was a product I've been wanting to try. I've heard a lot about it. It was just released. Is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. It has like cannabis oil in it, which is supposed to be really good for your lashes. Why I almost had eyebrows, I don't know. Um, it's 10 milliliters, 0.34 fluid ounces, and it is heavy. Like, I have a lot of mascaras, okay? None of them are as heavy as this. Like, if I threw this at the wall, It'd make a loud noise and probably put a dent in there. Um, I just, I I tried it out today and I really like it. The, the brush or the bristles like that, they're really like, it says they're like heart-shaped fibers to help grab your lashes and curl them up. Um, I did put it on, but it's probably come off by now because, you know, mom life. Um, but it's such a beautiful like package too. Like it's just, I don't know if you can hear this, but ow. yeah, this is definitely one of my new favorite mascaras. I'll definitely be using it. it. Smells like, smells like mascara obviously, but it's like, like it smells fresh, you know? And no, you cannot get high off of this. Like People are like, oh my God, there's cannabis oil. Well, first of all, if you know anything about cannabis oil, it doesn't get you high. So, this is definitely one of those beautiful mascaras that I hope I never run out of, but you know, probably will because I like it so much. So yeah. So I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Maybe it'll give you some ideas of what you wanna buy. I don't know. Like I said, this was my most expensive product. And then this, I don't remember how much this retailed for, but I think it was like $18, but I'm not gonna swear to it. And this was $20. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my channel, give this video a little thumbs up. Maybe, you know, tell a friend, uh, maybe not. I don't know, I'm not gonna tell you how to live, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll be back with more videos eventually. Like I'm still trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing. So bye.